Hello and welcome back, I am Marumba. thank you for joining me, let's play a little bit more of our campaign as the Golden Horde. So we have just two, I think it was just two, two achievements that I wanted to get yet. I wanted to get, uh, I don't think the White Company is going to happen this campaign. Three, three campaigns, uh, three achievements. I want the Great Con, which is the main, main goal. I want uh, Turning the Tide, which we're going to get automatically in about 28 years. And if possible, I wanted to do this, uh, just resting in my account. If I can pay close attention to when the Ottomans stop being corrupted. Uh, corrupt officials, January of 26. So, hopefully I don't forget. If I do, then I'm going to be very upset. Um, but you know, it is what it is. We've got an institution yet to embrace, apparently. Um, current penalty was 22% due to the Enlightenment, which uh, spawned actually over here. So, we should get it fairly soon then, just based on the fact that our vassals have it, and it should be spreading into our territory pretty quickly. In fact, uh, what percentage of that do we have right now? I have 6.1%. That's because I own this. Is it spread elsewhere? Is that... Ah, you know what? That's right. It's spread over here via the, uh, the universities. I forgot that, uh, I had done that. That's right. So it's spreading quite quickly in the places that have universities and in our little path for, you know, reasons. And beyond that, I guess we just kind of wait until our vassals embrace and in, and then border us. 3.6%. It's growing very slowly here. But having an adjacency doesn't really give you a huge boost. It's actually almost strictly the university. Okay, adjacent province and then nearby friendly. So this province is apparently not adjacent to any friendlies. It's just Ming. What about down here? So, my vassal is... I've got Meow, Liang, and Qi. Looks like Meow doesn't have it. Liang and Qi should. They're spreading it. I will border them here, and here, and over here. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this. Meow doesn't have it though, so it's really just this one. Which is going very slowly. He's only getting 0 .09. That's like a quarter of what a university would give. Interesting. Well, we own some very high development provinces here, right? Beijing's pretty good. Why don't we build a university in Beijing? Castle, shipyard, marketplace, workshop, mosque, barracks. Shipyard's good, castle's okay, workshop, marketplace, mosque, barracks. They're all good. They're all good buildings. Probably the barracks. Well, the shipyard. We haven't been building any boats. Let's get rid of the shipyard. Build a university here instead. And then this one as well, it's only 5 development, but it does share the same sea tile. We could get another 5 development to get it. Yeah, let's go to the development map mode. Okay, up here we've got 21. How many would it take? One, I could go 1, 2, 3, 4, build like 5 universities up to that, that other high development one, and then we could go 1, 2, 3, get some of these. I mean, I think I have the funding for it. Regimental Camp, Castle, Mosque. You need more development to be able to do this. Uh, well, I suppose... If I had to get rid of something, it'd probably be the fort. Uh, annoyingly, the... Hold on, am I making a mistake right now? I think you can, I think you can build universities even if there, there's no building slots. Isn't that true? Let's find one that's locked. I think they changed that at some point. Alright, I am looking for... Well, that's an interesting color. I don't remember seeing that greenish color before. Not construct any more buildings in this province. Right, so can I build a university here? Yes, I can. Crap, I didn't need to destroy that. Rats. Oh well. It's not the end of the day. End of the day, end of the end of the world. Okay, so we built that one there, we built that one there, we built that one there. And then uh, we're gonna go this route. It's 300 ducats a piece. It'll take me a little while to get these other four or five or so going. But yeah, I wanna get this next thing done. Um, I thought, hold on, I thought that the, the last reformation, or the last idea was in, uh, in 1750, but it's actually apparently 1700. It's already spawned. So, okay, great. That means we don't have to play for another 28 years. We just conquer all this stuff and get everything done. Nice! It's going to significantly speed things up. How's our truce timer with uh, Mr. Mingman? 
We have a truce until 26, so four years to go there. We've got, uh... So Ming, Shu, we've got a truce with. Ning, we've got a truce with. Wu, just did. And that's Ming still. Yu, down here, we don't. And we need this land down here. So we could attack Yu using Imperialism and then transfer it to Qi via the pouring distance he's got over water. So yeah, that could work. We're currently at war right now. Who are we at war with? Forgot. Oh yeah, that's right, Korea. Crap! I totally forgot. I was going to attack for the institution. He has it, right? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what happens when you don't play uh, a campaign as often? Uh, you just kind of completely forget. Yeah, Korea's got tons of... Alright, well, I just solved the problem in multiple different ways then. We don't need those universities in Beijing. We're just going to conquer the crap out of Korea. This is a much simpler problem to solve, or a much, much simpler solution, rather. Alright, siege guys here. Secondary siege guys here. I was avoiding going into the defensive train because he does have, like, 50k and he's on equal tech, I thought. 24 versus 24, yeah. Alright, but now that we have done that one, we can move forward to both of them. As long as we're within one or two provinces of each other, I think we can reinforce fairly quickly. My bad, sorry about that. Uh, apparently I'm disappointed because artillery is going to be more expensive. We are now losing money. Army maintenance is, uh, wow, very high. Uh, suddenly we are way over the force limit. Did I have like a whole bunch of units just finish or something? Or did I switch to a different advisor? And maintenance, morale... I don't have a land force limit advisor. And we are spending 35.37 ducats on that. Yeah, I think we're going to need to deal with that problem. We're not ahead of time on tech. We're not doing that great on military points. We are close to the administrative point cap. Conquer Ennare. Yeah, no. I don't really want to attack Sweden. It doesn't have anything to do with what we're trying to do. Muscovy still, still trying to exist up here, very annoyingly. Still allied to Memmingen for reasons. I guess we just eat the money, the, the financial loss right now. We could turn some forts off or something. We could delete some forts, that's probably an easier, easier solution, I don't really need them. Alright, so... This provides a zone of control wall, so all of these are superfluous, over here. I think I kept them for, for a while. Did I delete the wrong building? I think I did. <laughs> I just deleted the whatever that was. Nice. Uh, so that's going to update in a second. And so that covers to there. That one's necessary. That one's necessary. This one... I mean, I'm not going to go to war with Scandinavia anymore. So unless there's unrest over here. Um, which there is not. I'm going to delete these as well. I really just want a wall. It goes this way. In fact, I think we get rid of these two as well. So we have a wall that blocks like the western side, and I wouldn't even mind having a fort in like Mansur, so that we could finish this thing and just kind of cut this whole thing in half. Alright, so that'll update. And then down here we've got a bunch that I don't really need, because I don't think there's any interest down here either. And I really don't care to, to restrict too much motion down here. I mean, we got terrain, right? We got wall mountains over here, impassable terrains here, so... I suppose it'd be nice to like, keep like these three plus this one. These these four will do, but everything else I don't really want. I just don't want them to like wander into my center territory and like go annoy me. So like all this stuff down here is just not necessary. This is Persian land that I gave him, so he's paying for those, that's fine. He's got four there, and then up here, any unrest in this area? No, it's fine. We're totally fine. Same thing as before, do we have a... Okay, so this is the wasteland. These two... Cover us up to there, so yeah, let's get rid of these. Just kind of cut out most of the inland stuff. And that one is one that we're occupying right now. Okay, so now we're down to a fairly small number of forts, I imagine. Still have 13. Let's just do a quick count, see if that makes sense. We've got one, two, three, four. Um, is that one mine? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I count 10, so if I have more than that, uh, let's wait a day or two. 
10, and then we're paying for one that's occupied, so that's 11. Where are these other two? Um... I don't want to look through each name. They've got to be somewhere. One, two, three, four. Ah, right down here and here. That's the last two. Do we want one on this southern area down here? I mean, this fort... Persia's going to take care of zone of control in these areas. And then I've got zone of control up to here. So these are really not necessary unless I'm like trying to protect the land. So yeah, just get rid of them. One of these days I do want to do a campaign where like... I'm not building so wide and, and fat, like... And I could actually have maybe well thought out zone of controls and plans and stuff, but for the most part, I just I don't really want to mess with it. I could have sworn there was an actual fort here. Did he delete his fort? That's weird. Is there not a fort there? I guess not. Okay, our truce to dive yet is over. Now we're back into the swing of things. Now I know what the hell I'm doing. I remember now. How do we feel about our policies? That one's okay. Costs us uh, diplomatic points, which we don't care about. Admin. Admin. Military, military. Main thing is just end this war right away so that we can embrace the institution. His enthusiasm can't be too high. We have a Persian particularist rebellion. Yeah, he's already medium. Relative strength of the alliance. I am intimidating. And Key is up here with 23,000 troops and a 242 general. That's actually quite impressive. Good job, Key. Uh, let's make sure that all of our guys are set to aggressive. They will independently seek engagements in enemy territory, not attached to friendly armies. So I really want that. I want them actually to focus, I think, instead on sieges. I just want them to, like, do as much work as possible killing stuff, like sieging things down for me. Make things easier. We are already at 100 piety. Do we want 1,300 ducats for that? Yeah, I think so. I think we're done trying to appease Mr. Persia Man. I know for the longest time I was trying to get him loyal, and now that he is, I still don't really plan to integrate him. The emirs are currently disloyal. Uh, we finally did get the Dimi loyal, which is great. We currently have the tech cost reduction. We could promote Dimi and piss everyone off. That would make them even more upset, though. Let's get on to that capital there, and uh, we'll get down to this other one adjacent to it. Of course, the other one's caught me. January of 26, that was the number, I think. Shu has insulted us. Well done, Shu. It's very impressive. He has a little bit more trade efficiency. Let's, uh, let's promote an admiral. Because, uh, you know, reasons. Will this be an issue? I highly doubt it. 22, when we've got one expired. Recruited minister expires in two years, so it's fine. We're not over the leader limit. Let's take a look at what he is. He's a 1341. Not bad. And it looks like our vassal is just going to completely ignore. Did you, like, disband some of your troops? You, you show, you're showing 45,000 infantry. Where the hell are they? He's not involved in any other wars, is he? Oh, he is. Okay, so he is currently defending against Japan and the Japanese reconquest of Kamikawa. So apparently, uh, where's this one now? Emmy, Emmy, I can't spell. Why doesn't the escape key work here? Right out loud. Um, Kamikawa. Okay, so it must be in there, and I just can't see it. Is that that's got to be what's going on? It looks white to me, but that's probably just because of the TI. That probably used to be Japan, and so I, I'm guessing Korea must own that. Or did Japan not declare on Korea directly? Ah, he declared on Ainu, so Ainu does still exist in there and there. Okay, so he's allied to Korea, Korea's defending him, and he probably put all of his men over there. Which means we're just coming down here and smashing his face in because of reasons. So that means that I could have gone a lot more aggressive. I didn't realize that he was, you know, MIA. But I love this. This is, this is fantastic. Gosh, it makes me want to play a campaign as, uh, as a Holy Roman Emperor and revoke the Privilegia, or whatever it's called. Get, get all the little vassals. Vassal Swarm, man, that is that is that is something. It's a lot of fun having tons and tons of vassals. I wonder if you had that, would you have to like manually go through and set the every single nation that's your vassal via that as aggressive or siege focused? You just said no focus. Would they would they do anything? 
My guess is no. Probably not. We could temporarily throw a couple extra artillery over there. Just speed this up slightly. Oh crap, Captain Admin. Well, I've been meaning to buy down a little bit of inflation, so let's do that for now. You may... have your heresy. That seems fine to me. No siege pips. It does have some artillery. And that's the capital of Korea. That gives a 76 war score. I don't need any of this land specifically for the achievements that I'm doing, but it would be nice to to just take coastal territory and make sure that everything that we do take has the institution. So that's going to be literally everything that he owns. So in that case, uh, let's take forts. Let's also kind of look around at trade nodes. Um, currently, almost all wealth is being steered south. I do have 53% control here, though. We could send this wealth west. Let's see, is there a merchant free that's doing something silly? I need you. You... You're doing good work. I think. Actually, everyone that is steering is already steering in that direction, so my merchant's doing nothing except for promoting the outgoing value by 1.5. So we could pull the guy from Astrakhan. Let's do that. We'll go over to here. Transfer trade power. The guy who is in Astrakhan. Okay, and so in that case, um... Everything that's in Beijing is already going west, so we do want Beijing land. And we do want this land. Estuaries would be good, so let's take the estuary. I want Giren. Other estuaries is uh, this one, but this one goes... This is the Japan node, which goes down to here, which we don't really care about. Are there any other estuaries up there? No. Alright, so I just really want the one estuary, and then beyond that... Coast, coast stuff, uh, forts, decent value trade goods. You know, whatever. Cutting them in half is always nice. I mean, he'll accept a 70% peace deal. Seems fine. We'll just take all that chunk. Sounds good. 94 aggressive expansion, 82% overextension. Sounds fantastic. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Keep the forts for now. We will immediately start coring, because we can. Should be a core all button. For those days when you're world conquesting, right? Alright, so now we have land that has the the thing. Can we embrace the institution? Or do we have to have the cores complete first? I can never remember. 7.9%. Alright, it needs to be embraced in at least 10% of our autonomy modified development. So no, the cores don't have to happen, but that only took me to 7.9%. Damn it! Well, we did gain some money in the war, so I guess we... go back to building universities along the... route. I had looked at before, which was here to here to here to here to there, which we already have, and then this one would be a good one. I just need 288 ducats. We're making 2.79 due to being over the force limit still. I'm going to go down on maintenance because I don't think we have any rebellions at the moment. I don't care about subjects. Yeah. Pretty low, low stuff right now. So the guy's down here. He's currently steering north, which I think we like. We have 13% control here, steering this way. Why go against the flow, right? Like, we already have 55% control of this node, so... I think boosting it and then just letting it come out again would be fine. We're overextended, so we just lost some trade power. This guy's steering north, because if we don't, then we lose the trade value. This guy's steering... north for the same reason. This guy we just redirected, and Kiev. This guy definitely has to steer north. In fact... Look at all that money that's being forced out. Any more trade power in this node? We should, we should embargo Prussia, probably. It's annoying that I can't, um... That I can't rival him. Alright, let's see. We're making, right now, 97.7. Let's embargo Prussia and see if that costs. So, 97.71. It'd be really cool if you could have, like, a... Like, a three or four month trade history. Instead of having to go to the ledger and see, like... 
In there's, there's a thing on here, right? Income over time or some nonsense. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Income, there it is. Income overview. Income. That one. But this is all income. This doesn't show trade income, and it doesn't... It doesn't show the number. It just shows, like, it's... You know, it's not what I need. I need a little table that shows, like, you did this, and now your income's better, or is it worse? We're also still, I think, waiting on that merchant to arrive. Making 106.9... Build the other university in that slightly higher development province there. And, uh... Okay, so these have 27 and 35. We don't need to have the contiguous connection for these, we should just build them outright. But I was trying to, like, snake the, uh... The contigu... Contiguity? Contigu... That word. It's a new word. I've just created it. Alright, the trade income went... To 99.6. I think that's higher. I forget now. I never remember. So that's why I need the damn table. Um, you know. It's a thing. Let's make up to speed 4. We got a lot of diplomats free right now. I don't really like that. We should probably go ahead and start fabricating on you again. Even though you're just going to catch me because you're a jerk. And uh, back to here. I wanted the university here. Okay. University is already present. In my highest development provinces. That's what the unit what is okay, it's that one with the it's like two buildings with one in the background. No university here? No. Yeah, 29 development. These these ones need it. 21, 29. Okay. Well, um, despite my confusion at the start of the campaign, or the start of the episode, I, I do think that we are rapidly going to be able to embrace the uh Next institution. And, um... We don't have any state slots, we can't do anything else with this land, but that's alright. Reduce over extension seems like a reasonable mission at the moment. You guys are... Transports, right, because I was going to conquer that guy. Build more. We're dead! Alright. We have a 143. That means our greedy ruler is in charge. We can get that achievement for taking all of somebody's money in a war. So that is something that I should do. We have a truce now with Korea. We have no truce with uh, Tibet. How about we just attack Tibet and get that, that war? That sounds great. Declare. Probably should have at least a little bit of maintenance if I'm going to do that. Does he even have an army? He's got 2,000 troops. I think we'll be alright. In fact, I mean, we can overrun it without actually having to do anything, so... Is this army supposed to be this large? Holy crap. It's really big. Supply here is only 37. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I'll be back in the next episode, though. So, as always, thank you for watching. I will see you in a bit.